Hi, my name is Elegas Mombalieu from the University of Leuven and Child Rehabilitation Center Dominic Savio. Our paper in Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology is entitled Clinical Patterns of Dystonia and Karyphetosis in Participants with Dyskinetic Cerebral Palsy. It is well known that dyskinetic CP is the second largest CP group and is characterized by the presence of the movement disorders dystonia and karyphetosis. The problem is actually that dystonia and karyphetosis are difficult movement disorders and little is known about the clinical presentation of dystonia and karyphetosis in dyskinetic CP and this, this makes targeted therapy and management difficult. So what is new in this study? Well actually for the first time clinical patterns of dystonia and karyphetosis were mapped. Two, the relationship between dystonia and karyphetosis were correlated with functional classification scales. And three, we determined also the relationship with lesions in the basal ganglia and thalamus, and this with dystonia and karyphetosis. So the take home message of this study is, there is a simultaneous presence of dystonia and karyphetosis, however, with a predominance of dystonia. 2. Dystonia and karyphetosis are higher during activity than rest. And 3. There is a, a high relationship was found between dystonia and functional classification scales. However, it is not the case for karyphetosis. And 4. Karyphetosis is associated with lesions in the thalamus and basal ganglia. However, that is not the case for dystonia. So, I hope you enjoyed the paper and maybe uh, see you next time.